Schlossberg's Transition Theory by Brittany Winant. Goodman et al., 2006, defined a transition as any event or non-event that results in changed relationships, routines, assumptions, and roles. He also stressed the role of perception in transitions, noting that a transition exists only if it is so defined by the individual experiencing it. When understanding the meaning that a transition has for a particular person requires considering the type, context, and impact of the transition. Within the types category, there are three types of events, anticipated, unanticipated, and non-event. Anticipated events occur predictably. Unanticipated events are not predictable or are not scheduled. Non-events are events expected to occur but do not. There are four classifications of non-event. One is personal, which is related to the individual's aspirations. Two is ripple, where it is caused by a non-event of someone close. Three is resultant, is caused by an event. And four is delayed, where the person is anticipating an event that still may happen. Context also plays a role on a transition. Context refers to one's relationship to the transition and to the setting in which the transition takes place. Impact is determined by the degree to which a transition alters one's daily life, and it can either be positive or negative. A transition is a process with three phases coined by Goodman. They are moving in, moving through, and moving out. Finally, there are four major sets of factors known as the four S's that influence one's ability to cope with a transition. They are situation, self, support, and strategies. The following section explores the four factors in more detail. Think about a transition you have experienced in your past. See if the parts of the four factors had an, any influence. What precipitated the transition? Did it happen at a good time or a bad time? Okay. What is in your control? Is there multiple sources of stress present? Did a role change occur? Was it a gain or a loss? Permanent, temporary, or, or uncertain? Do you have previous experience with current transition? Who or what is seen as responsible for the transition? Do personal or demographic characteristics have an effect? Gender or age? Go ahead. Socioeconomic status. Ethnicity or culture? Yeah. State of health. Do psychological resources play an effect on... Commitment, the values, status. or spirituality? Ego development. Optimistic or pessimistic outlook. Is support available in intimate relationships? What about your family? Is there a network of friends who show support? Do these supporters show effect or affirmation, aid or honest feedback? What coping response is used? Modify the situation. Control meaning of the situation. Response, aid in managing the stress and the aftermath. How is the response employed? Use of information speaking, direct action, Inhibition of action, inner psychic behavior. In the remaining part of this video, I asked some of my students this semester to share their experiences that, have, that they have had in previous transitions in their life. Look to see if you can identify which factors have impacted them and identify which category of the four S's that it fits into. Good luck! The support of my family and friends and uh, my girlfriend and just, I don't know, it made it a lot easier when there was a lot of people helping me out who had been in the situation that I was in. I hadn't been in the situation before, it's just a little bit different this time. It was really easy, except for not seeing my family every day, it was a little bit harder. But it got easier considering I can just go straight home every weekend. And I kind of built my own family of friends here, so it made it a lot easier. Like, they all are there to study with me and help me with any classes that I don't understand. Um, having friends that are in the same classes because then we study together and we understand the material a lot better than even the teacher can explain. The one major part was 
just having not my family was split apart so everybody was at different places so it wasn't a, a family as a whole I felt like you know my family wasn't there anymore like everybody didn't live in the same house at a time when my parents were getting divorced it was really it was negative I mean I didn't want it to happen and um, I knew but it was going to happen anyways whether I liked it or not but towards the end I was I guess I was fine with it but I mean I was gonna have to live with it but difficult um, some my siblings would pick like sides to go on so it was really difficult you know which parent you would agree with I mm. guess um, just I thought talking with somebody helped um, it would either be like a family member or like more like a fam or a, one of my friends because they weren't in this situation so that helped. Um, the biggest thing for me was when I had to pay my own bills and when I had to start making my own money. Um, I overcame it by taking on two part-time jobs and I did end up working full-time during the summer as well. It was a fairly difficult transition um, but after I got used to my schedule change and um, putting everything into one day it was pretty much the biggest change. A completely different environment. I went from a public school to a Catholic school, so the people were different, uh, the curriculum was different, the discipline was different, and basically just being around religion all the time was, I mean, completely different from what I was used to. Difficult in the sense of the of the discipline part because there were a lot of rules that you didn't have to follow at public school that you now had to follow that I wasn't used to. But for the most part, it wasn't too hard. The one that I can really think of is I studied a lot harder because the classes were considerably more difficult. I had a positive outlook on it. Uh, I mean, a harder curriculum meant that I would be more prepared for college, so I thought that was good. I actually asked to go to the Catholic school. Uh, basically just changing from high school to college, having to do everything on my own, and just providing for myself, doing my laundry, homework, and getting up on time, and just doing everything without my parents. At first it was because I didn't really know how to go about it and I didn't have anyone to help me or show me but eventually I figured it out and just started to get the hang of things. I used my resources, I just looked online for things to do and just asked around and see what was most beneficial to help me. Uh, yes, I used a few mentors I guess I could say, like coaches and people around me to help. And, uh, I talked to them pretty much almost every day. And they were just checking up on me, seeing how I was, I was doing and stuff like that. It was positive because it really showed me that eventually I had to do things on my own anyway, so it just helped me get in getting ready for that. The transition from um, just actually leaving home, like out of my comfort zone, to coming to Nebraska, and also um, leaving my family and not being around them for so long, it's uh, been a different transition and um, I think I'm adjusting to it very well. I actually don't talk to them uh, nowhere near as much as I used to. And, uh, they're like really not in my life anymore so it's making me better as a man and just as a person and individual you teach me like personal morals of just like staying focused and being on task and just worrying about yourself mainly. Very positive. Um, as far as me, like uh, progressing in college, I think it's done a, a tremendous value to me.